Fort Myers Beach area. There's Phoenix. We're gonna walk and go get some lunch. About 86 degrees already down here. December, you gotta love it. I don't think I did either. What do you think, babe? Sanibel, Florida, Sanibel Island. The girls are putting their stuff in the front. In the front. And I know you guys are gonna. Car. I know you guys are gonna comment and say people can actually hack into the front. Oh my god! Is what? that is that a bee nest in there? <gasps> no, it's a frog. Oh, the frog. Oh, check this out, guys. Scary. There's a frog in their car. There's a frog hanging out in my car. Come on. That scared me so bad. Is it a frog? It's a frog. A fin. Oh my gosh, look at him. You're gonna be eating Robert. Ooh. Oh, he's look a sticky it's a one. tree. It's a tree frog. Look how big a tree frog is. That's a big tree frog. Oh he was in, he was he was actually hanging out in the Tesla the whole time. Don't let him get inside it. I got to take a picture of that. <laughs> wow, that's cool. I'm gonna get a picture with the tea. The tea. That was so crazy. All right, so we're at the mu the mucky too. duck. Oh, yeah, yeah, we should have. Hey, the mucky you duck. Yeah. I can't use my camera though. You got Here. pee on your oh, hand. Oh yeah, don't Here's touch your picture. <laughs> Stopped at Dairy Queen for some ice cream and Megatron, or not Megatron, Phoenix is parked right there.
in Fort Myers <clears throat> on vacation for like a week or so. Um, the day before, which is today's Saturday, we're leaving tomorrow. I actually brought my Tesla up to the supercharging station here just to top it off. We had about 130 miles of charge left, but I wanted to make sure that we are fully charged. So tomorrow when we leave, we don't have to come here. We can just go right to the next one. That's probably something you'll do in the future too. If you are, you know, buy a supercharger, wherever your destination is, if you're vacationing for a week or so, you'll probably bring your car back here and charge it up before you leave. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug now. All right, so side stop. Come to this place called Norman Love. Wow. Yeah. Alright guys, so tomorrow morning our trip to Florida comes to an end. And uh, we're actually going to head to Nashville on our day one trip back to Buffalo. And the reason being is um, the snowstorm that has come in, come in has even in, even in uh, deep in the south here in Florida, it's been it's down to what 50 degrees. It's really cold, not super cold, but cold enough. So instead of actually going up this way and heading back towards Charlotte, we're actually going to go up this way and go to North Nashville. So it kind of take us away from that East Coast storm, and then from here we'll go up toward Cleveland and, and uh, Ohio area. So that way we're kind of like missing that storm for the most part and we'll come back to it hopefully by the time we come back on Sunday or Monday evening it'll be all done and safe to come through so that's our trip for tomorrow Sunday so we're going from Fort Myers Florida all the way to Nashville Tennessee wish us luck we'll see ya all right so we're on our way back to Buffalo the cold the snow from Fort Myers, Florida. There's the wife over there. She's ready to go. Yeah. In-laws are tucked back in the back nice and neat. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be a long drive. We got about six supercharger stops and we're going to uh, Nashville, Tennessee. So that should be fun. We'll see you when we get there. All right, guys, this is Brandon, Florida. It's our first stop on our way back to Buffalo. And this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stalls. All back ends. And there is Phoenix charging as always. Only 15 miles of battery left, so we got a little bit of a charge here. You can see as we're charging because it there, you know, we need a lot of battery to charge. Things flickering like crazy. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. It's like a, there's a staples there and it's like a strip mall all the way around here. Pretty nice. I think Olive Garden over there. So all right, Brandon, Florida. We're gonna take a little nap. Alright guys, this is Lake City, Florida. It's like our third supercharger station. I think after this we're gonna be out of Florida. But uh Looks like that same red Tesla is kind of following us. We're following them. They got here before we did. Um, eight supercharger stations, back ends. Actually, just six. One, two, three, four. Just six uh, stations here. It's about 45 degrees out. And it's going to get colder as we get closer to New York.
So this is Tifton, Georgia, supercharging station. Looks like seven back ends and one pull in. And we got four Model S's here charging today. The same red one too, going the same direction we are. There's Phoenix. And there's the seven chargers. One pull in and then Starbucks right there. Olive Garden. Ruby Tuesdays over there. Wendy's and all, Wendy's and all that stuff. So tons, tons of things to do and eat here. So off we go. So this is the supercharging station in Atlanta, Georgia. It's actually under a parking um, garage. And you can see it's tons of Tesla's all, all plugged in here. There's actually even more over here too. I was thinking we weren't gonna get a spot. These are all full up. Red's very popular. So a bunch of S's. S, S, there's an X. And there is Phoenix. So we stopped in downtown Atlanta and they have a neat, neat, huge tree out here. It's actually freezing. We're not dressed for this. This is Brentwood, Tennessee Supercharger Station. Six pull-ins. And there's Phoenix Charging. And it's actually a Tesla dealership. So, Tesla dealership of Brentwood. It would be cool if there was a Model 3 here, huh? Let's take a walk around. Alright guys, we made it to Louisville, Kentucky, and I was going to, it kind of warned me to stay below a certain speed, but uh, I didn't listen, but we still got here with plenty of battery, and we skipped over a supercharger, so we were going to do Bowling Green, Kentucky, and I skipped over that and we're right to Louisville. So we got eight back-end chargers at Louisville, Kentucky, and there's the wifey. And now we're gonna go find a bathroom in a garbage place. See ya. All right guys, so this is Blue Ash, Ohio. And uh, it's got eight back installs, mainly charging delivery vehicles because we're at a Tesla um, delivery and sales center. Blue Ash, Ohio. How much to do here? You can actually go in there and they have like a, a owner's club you can kind of hang out in while you're charging. So uh, that's about it in Blue Ash, Ohio. All right, Tesla Tim made it to Erie, PA. It's pretty late. We have snowfall finally. Uh, we just finished charging, we're gonna head back home. So it's the Erie PA supercharger, snow on the ground, some flurries here in Erie PA. So uh, we're gonna be heading through in the Buffalo here. Wish us luck. Hey guys, Tesla Tim here. It's very late at night and we're just getting done with our Florida trip. Um, we left Erie PA and there was no snow. And then obviously if you guys watched or heard about the Buffalo Bills game, Buffalo Bills versus the Colts and it was a really really bad snowstorm during the game well 
this is what we're in right now. We're basically driving in in the Model S, and it is pretty hard to drive. Like this has all wheel drive, but it still slips around pretty good. I don't I don't have snow tires on this. There's the standard tires that come with the car, and uh, it's kind of scary because like obviously there's so much snow on on the road that um, no, no plows have come through, so it's pretty slippery. So that's why I do a video here at this kind of a. This is kind of the end of our uh, our trip here, and um, I wanted to run a video to kind of show you guys. Like you can see, the the roads are just covered with snow. Um, it's crazy, and I kind of have to I have to drive the Tesla like at a, a slower speed, about 30, 35, because it does slide. You know, if you gun it, it does slide a little bit. If I had snow tires, it probably would drive a little better, but um, it does slide. Um, I do have the all-wheel drive. Um, the dual motor uh, Model S, but it still does slide a little bit. So, um, also to top it off, it's very cold. Um, we only have 15, well, now 14 miles of battery, and um, yeah, I can kind of I can show you right here. If you click on here, and click on here. We got 14 miles of battery. Ooh. It's very low, and it is cold, which kind of scares me because I know that I've seen some people that it show it shows X amount of battery left, and as it it's so cold you kind of lose that battery but um, so it's kind of scary we got um about three, miles. three miles to go so i think we should have plenty so i uh, mean you guys have seen our house before in our videos but i just kind of wrote one to roll this um to show you like what's going on it is coming down like crazy here and i am going slow it's 28 degrees i'm gonna turn the light off you still can't see it's very really bad the snow and uh, the car slid everywhere uh, no snow tires at all so it was a pretty scary drive but uh, we got back home successfully it was so late at night I think it was like two or three in the morning that we just went to bed I didn't roll any film so part two this is the end of it thanks for watching I'm actually back in Fort Myers this is my uh, my uh, wife's uncle's house and that's actually where we came from we drove from here back to Buffalo and now we're here again so but we didn't drive the Teslas down this time. So there we go. And why didn't we drive the Teslas? Well, we had six people come down and we drove in the same vehicle. So we drove in my my father-in-law's big truck and that fit six. Otherwise we were gonna bring down Megatron. That would've been a nice little video. So that's the end of our video. And until next time, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you like us. Peace, we'll see ya.